Hey folks, Shadebear1000 here. Today we're going to be testing out this as seen on TV. We're going to review this uh, little race car set. We have two of them, but we're only going to open up one. So stick around, let's do this together. <laughs> Okay, what we have here, we bought this at um, what pharmacy? We bought it at a pharmacy. We got we got it on sale. Um, we got two of them. I think we gave we got them on on sale. I think we gave like four bucks a piece for them. But uh, we we've got two of them. Uh, we're only going to review one of them because we're going to give them to the grand boys. So I think they'll like something like this. Easy to set up. It's got 10 feet of track, but it's got 200 pieces of glow track. It glows in the dark, and the car itself has uh, LED lights in it. I'm not sure what batteries it takes, but uh, and it's got you. You can buy different stuff for it, but I mean, there's there's different ways you can roll it up. Like once you're done, I don't know if you got to put every little piece together. God, I hope not. But you get stickers with it and you get a fun guide so not a fun guy it's not a it's not a mushroom but you get 78 decals so uh you know to decorate your car up and stuff so all right let's see what what we can do with this okay and grab a knife Okay. Yeah, I gotta wear my glasses. Alright. Alright, let's get this opened up here. Let's set it down here. Can you guys see okay? Alright. Let's pull this out. The fun part's going to be trying to get everything back in there. So. Oh no, the car's sealed. Hmm, I'll have to try to do that and glue it back together, but everyone say, Grandpa, you been playing with this? No, I'm gonna blame it on grandma. Alright, there's the car. I think the other one I think the other one might be a blue car. But and you can buy different other cars and more track and put all this stuff together. Let's try not to destroy any of this. That's just a filler. I may have to resort back to the video to see how the stuff goes back in. And of course, they always they always crush everything, you know, even if you want to use that. See? But anyway, there's some of the stickers you can get to stick on your stuff. We're not going to be using any of that. And here's the track. Oh my goodness. And there's the fun guide. All right. Well, let's. Okay, these are already open. So let's see what this involves. Involved, involved. And then we'll try to shut the lights off. And so apparently, you just click these together, huh? I haven't read up on it. As you can see, I've never had it open, so. And you can do all kinds of stuff with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to set this track up around this table and let's see what happens. set up there's still um, one two three four five more sections here but I figured just just to run a test on this this is good enough 
And of course you don't want to use it on a tablecloth because this will pinch and stuff. But I put it on here because this is a glass table. And when I looked through the viewfinder on the glass table, there was a lot of glare. And you pretty much see through, you really can't see what's going on. So a uh, monkey suggested using this tablecloth. So that's a good idea. The car takes three triple A batteries. And there is a, a little screw right here on the back that little Phillips head screw you take that out and the cover will come off, front wheels will come off and you just put your batteries in now on top this is how you start it, there's a button right here on top get a light on here button right there on top and there's lights up got what six LEDs yeah two four six LED lights so. alright so alright that's not good a screw that I had not even messed with just popped out so right there these things are expensive too if you don't get them on sale like we did well that sucks I'm gonna have to try to fix that if you don't get them on sale like we did they're what 20 bucks and you got screws popping out? I mean, come on now. But let's check it out. Well, I'm not impressed with it, but for a kid, I'm sure that's pretty fast and I'm sure they would like it. You know, so let's see what we got going on over here. But for the money, no. For the for what we gave for it, yeah, sure. But I don't think it's worth twenty or twenty five dollars, twenty or thirty bucks, or whatever they normally run. I don't think that at all. And that's why. I mean, but you're not supposed to have it on the table either. But it does seem to be pretty durable. do this and let it run on here for a second. Now it's supposed to be able to do loop-de-loops too. Now I'm not sure about a loop-de-loop -loop on this thing. So, I mean, I don't even know how you go about it doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. Supposed to be able to do stuff like this. I, I just can't see that happening. Where did I see that? Yeah, like right here. But let's, I mean, let's let's try it. Alright. I wonder how where these come apart at. I never thought about that. I should check. Alright. Alright, let's try something like this. Did they use one color? You can take these apart individually too, and you know, make them, make them however you want them. I guess so. All right, um, let's see. No, it's not happening. I mean, it'll do that. That's kind of cool, but. Uh, yeah, that's kind of neat. I mean, yeah, it, but but it's not worth twenty twenty dollars or thirty or whatever it uh, originally was. So I I just can't see spending that kind of money on it when you know it was already falling apart. Though, like I said, I've dropped it what three times and it seems to be fine. I mean, everything anything plastic is cheap. I I understand that. I get it, folks. But you know, your kids they're rough rougher on it than we are. And, Okay, now that's kind of cool. So, but I think they need to lower the price. I think it's 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 a ten dollar item. 
at max at best. But let's okay. Let's um. Let's see if it glows in the dark. I'll try to get it as dark as I can in here. Now I probably didn't have it in the light long enough, but I mean it is glowing somewhat. So I imagine if you have the light a lot longer, it will glow more than that, but I mean, it's not really, of course it's not like it's going to be on the box, so. Alright guys, so conclusion, uh, it says age is three and up, I don't know how you're going to get a three year old to even try to help put this together, <coughs> which they like to do, and once it runs around the track a couple times. They're not, I mean, they're, they're, how do you keep their attention on something like that? Especially if it keeps crashing, they're not into it. And older children, older children, yeah, sure. I'm sure it'd be worth it, but it's cheaply made. Like I said, that, that one screw fell out and all I did was, you know, turned it on. So, I mean, so you got screws that are stripped right out of the box. Uh, is it fun for a kid? It'd be, a, it'd be a lot of fun, especially when they're old enough to help put these together and they can do like uh, orange, blue, red, and they can spend time, you know, building their track how they want it. And uh, it just pops, you know, pops on and off. So for an older kid, yeah, I'm sure it'd be loads of fun. But guys, for the money, I would wait until it went on sale like we did to buy it. I mean, that's that's why it took so long to buy to begin with was because, I, you know, it's all plastic. I knew it was going to be cheap made. They're asking way too much money for something like this. I mean, they, they ain't got that much money in something. The car's the most expensive thing about it, and, and, you know, they build them in mass quantities. I mean, they put out a million of these a day or whatever, you know. But uh, the money, if you haven't already... Don't waste your money on it. Um, wait till it goes on sale. Then, yeah, it's worth it. Um, but it's not worth the money. Other than that, I, I think it'd be all right. It'd be, it'd be a lot of fun for maybe a six-year-old, seven-year-old, you know, like I said, where they can build the track how they want it and stuff like that. You don't have to, like, just sit and be with them constantly because a lot of parents don't have that kind of time today. You know, you got two parents working jobs, and, and you get home, and you have dinner, and your kids do their schoolwork and whatnot. When do you have time to do something like this, you know, and, and then the weekend, what, you want to plan something to go do something with your children, you really don't have time to sit with them. It's unfortunate, but that's life, and it sucks, I know. I've been there, done that, you know, working 14, 16 hours a day, and I'll spend time with my kids, and, and but... I mean, if you got the time, sure, go ahead. But for the money, if you got money to burn, go for it. But it ain't worth 20 or 30 bucks by no means. I'd say $10 would be a fair price for this. And so if they want to lower their price, price on these, yeah, maybe even 15 But uh, not, not, not 20 No more than 15 at all. That's, that's my opinion. Now, some people may, you know, your results may vary. I don't know. This is just my opinion, you know, not, not. You know, I'm not saying stating the facts, and the facts is it's cheaply built, and I think, in my personal opinion, the price is too high. You know, especially if a kid, you know, you, if if your children's really not interested, and you try to get them interested, and they're not interested, but they play it one time, you throw it in a box, you put it in yard sale for five bucks. You know, it's not worth it. It's not worth it to me. Now, like I said, to some people it may be, but I just think the price. Uh, is it a lot of fun? Sure, sure. I wish I had time to play with it myself and, and get both of them out and set up both tracks and let them race around, but I, I just don't have the time and uh, I don't want to break it <laughs> any more than it's broke. Um, you know, so when they get it, it's still going to be good. <laughs> so anyway, there, there, there's my final thoughts. It's not worth the money. It is fun. It is worth some money. It's not worth what the original asking price is of them. So, with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my videos. Appreciate it. And, uh, oh, I wanted to show share something. Hang on one second. Uh, you guys may or may not know uh, Nancy Jones, one of my subscribers, and I'm subscribed to her. She's a training train enthusiast, uh, model railroading, and, and she's got a 
hell of a layout. But anyway, Nancy, if you're watching this, what I wanted to show you is, is packaging like this. You know, you get this, uh, let me turn the light on here and see if I can get you to, okay. See these, uh, you know, that clear plastic in, in packaging that you can get. What I used to do years ago when I was model railroading, when I built my little buildings like you did, I used to, used to cut these out and glue them on the back, this clear plastic. And it's hard to see because it's clear. But you get the idea, clear plastic, and some of it's thinner, but it comes in most packaging nowadays. You used to cut them out, glue them behind the windows, you know, and then when you put it together, it looked like it had glass in it. So I don't know if you've ever done that before. I thought I'd share a little tip with you. So anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, don't spend more than 10 or 15 bucks on it. It's just not worth it. Uh, in my book but so guys thanks for watching appreciate it and um, hope you guys it's getting late in the day now hope you guys uh, had a good day and we'll have a good evening and uh, the rest of the week hope it turns out well for you so that being said guys I gotta go I gotta put this back together and uh, fix that little screw deal and I'm gone for now so I met the man the legend I'm out. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.